this is Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and also the creator of the Clever with Canva course. And today I'd like to show you how to create your vision board in Canva. So by the time you're sitting down to create your vision board, you've already assessed what worked for you the previous year, what didn't work. You've already brainstormed your goals and you've edited them down. It is a really great way for us to bring all those goals and dreams into a visual space and you can make them yearly or you can do it every 90 days or every six months. Do what works for you. So let me show you how you can create your vision board inside of Canva. So the first thing that you wanna do is to create a Pinterest board for your vision board. So on this board, you'll start pinning ideas that tie in with your goals. The second step is to create a folder on your desktop or your Dropbox and you'll save images from your Pinterest vision board. And the way to do that is you right click, you go save image, you create a vision board folder, and you just save all of those images in the vision board folder. Once you've done that, you go into Canva and you start a new design and you can select the US letter size. Now, before you start creating, the first thing that you wanna do is have all of your images easily accessible. What I recommend you do is to create a new folder and you call your new folder your vision board. Then you're going to go and upload all of those images that you saved out. So now that we're organized, we have access to all of the images that we need. The next step that we want to do is to create our grid. You'll go under elements, grids, and you'll scroll down to look for a visual grid that will work for you. Now, if you're not seeing something that you're looking for, you can also use a few different styles of grids. So what I like to do is just to mix it up a little bit. So here's an example of what you can do. You can mix and match your grids. And remember, you can change this as you go. There we go. And if you wanted to add a circle or a different shape, you can do that too. So I like to add the circle with the border. So once you've done that, you've now got your images easily accessible and you also have your grid. So now you can start creating your vision board and adding images, adding words and adding your own personality. What's great about using the grid compared to adding all of the images individually is that you can just easily slot in the images and then move them around a little bit later until it feels just right. Move images in a frame like this, crop it exactly where you need it. So you keep playing until you have the vibe that you're after, until it feels like it sums up the key feelings of your vision and your goals. And sometimes you might have images in some of your other folders that will be relevant. Like for me, I might already have family images in my biopics folder. So I might select some of those from that folder. And I usually have one of my family because my family is my biggest why. And you can change up the background. You can leave it white. You can add in more circles. At this point, once I'm happy with the way that it looks, I like to add my words of the year. Last year, some of my words were community and celebrate. So that would maybe go here, community and celebrate, or just community or celebrate. Just a reminder for myself to celebrate their smaller things more often. And you can bring in brand colors or colors that you love. Just bring in elements that would really motivate you. Dullness or white space or me time. Now what I recommend you do for the last step once you're happy is to go download your vision board as a PDF and to print it out and frame it or put it somewhere where you will see it every day. So whether that's on your computer desktop or the background for your phone, make sure that it is somewhere where it is constantly something that you're looking at so that you can start manifesting that subconsciously as well. Remember to have fun with this and if you have any questions, let me know, send me a message and please go ahead and share your vision boards with us. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.